Hey, Christian. Scott, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing awesome. How are you? You're a busy man. <laughs> no doubt. I can't thank you enough. I saw that video that you did on iGear comparing their vest to ours. It was awesome. It was just um, observation. Completely unexpected. And just, you know, you've been following us for years, and, and I, I just love your British humor, and, and, and you really, you know, it sucks when someone just rips you off like that. Cool. And so blatantly. Well, you know, it's going to happen. I think if you get to a position that you're in, that it's going to happen. It's just, uh, I don't know. I, I was quite excited to actually see what was on offer locally. And I didn't realize that you were actually selling over here. Um, it was just a little bit of a disappointment that the person hadn't kind of thought of taking anything further. Because you never know. Someone might come out with, with something slightly different that I like. But unfortunately, it was a, a carbon copy and it, and it did just look exactly uh, kind of like they just half, half thought about how they were going to copy. So it didn't work as well as I, I anticipated. And uh, I, 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 mean, I kind of hope that comes across in a video because I think there's going to be some people who get a little bit disappointed should they um, not realise that they can get a Scotty vest in the UK and go for a, the other people. And and I understand in, in dealing with sell, selling to Europe and elsewhere, we've always been available internationally. But the the duties and the you know shipping and the returns are a pain. But now that we're, we have a you know an Amazon store that comes direct there, and it's doing really well, and we're going to start doing more and more. It's just I agree with you. I would have welcomed someone taking my product and making it better, so that I can I can learn. I mean you know I I not I know a lot about pockets and wiring clothing and stuff but you know it's not to say that someone can't teach me a thing a thing or two but to just blatantly i got to tell you you know when i see you know his garment you know i'm confused it looks you've left like, the uh, you've left the label on I, i'm assuming you're not wearing it out <laughs> this is his and this is mine and i mean everything about it is identical and it's in, in its construction, and I, you know, I've tried to reach out to him, you apart know, and resolve. Apart from uh, your zips work, and it's, and it's you're not as heavily padded as that, which I did find a problem. If I was to put gear in it, I couldn't breathe. It's just too much padding. Yeah, it's all it's fleece, which is not something you you know we view ours as something more of a, a layer to to put your stuff in and not to keep you warm necessarily. And you put something above uh, over it, but. You know, I, I've been following you. Obviously, we've been friends, you know, for a long time. You've done some write-ups on our stuff and reviews. You know, I, I, I want to propose something to you. I, I don't know if you'd be open to it or not. Um, mm. I'd, I'd like to kind of formalize some sort of relationship where, you know. One, you're okay, so at the moment, um, if I kind of find anything exciting on your site, I ask you for it and then you send it to me. And then I'll do as honest a review as possible. And I think that's worked pretty good, um, mainly because I will normally only ask for what I like anyway. Uh, the danger comes if you send me some kind of, I don't know, weird thing. Uh, you're okay with me saying, this is a bit weird for me. I, you know, that's a, that's, that's a good question. I, you know, I, I obviously prefer that you would love everything, but I think that... <laughs> that, that you know, people need respect your opinion, and if you're just a shill, then it, it's not going to have its intended effect. So, so long as you give constructive criticism and and tell us how we can improve or what you didn't like about it, so that we can try and do cool, better. Cool. Oh no, honestly, and I've said that before when I said that I would much rather these pockets be down below. And I know you've prototyped stuff. You've told me, and and it, I'm really excited to see what the possibilities are. If I'm going to do anything like this, though. Um, your product is already a bolt-on to the way I work. And maybe I don't talk about that as much as I can. I do have, uh, and I apologize for this, some stolen images from your website uh, when I'm doing my technology blogging and it has, you know, your jacket all over it. And if anybody asks, I say what it is. I don't always go, oh, you know, put your branding on things. So it, it, it's not a short, it's not a massive step for me to take to be kind of more open and transparent over what I'm using. But whereas when I show my technology, Nikon is heavily labeled, 
Scotty vest isn't heavily labeled and I'd have to consciously do that. I think the value for you would be in sponsoring and assisting individual products, uh, sorry, individual projects where your gear is enabling me or supporting me on those projects. So it, it almost like a long form review whilst I'm out doing an existing mission or something you've asked me to do, something exciting maybe. Well, you, you know, we've done these no baggage challenges where we've challenged people to you know travel around the country or go on a trip for a weekend without any bags, just putting everything they can in their Scotty vest. And uh, those have been quite successful and those are also done for charity. Um, I, I would love to work together in that capacity. And, you know, I think that there, there, we can find a middle ground because I, you know, I, I want to respect you know, the limits of your uh, role as a journalist and your credibility together with my desire to, to sell products. I, before, you, before they say anything, I, I'm not, I don't like to call myself a journalist because I'm not trained in journalism. I do have a press pass. I'm definitely a blogger. And, um, and I think that enables me to have more fun and to play around with things like this. The dangerous thing for me is me, like you said a minute ago, becoming a shill. I really would not want that to happen. So providing we can have a play, have some fun, experiment at, at any point whatsoever, um, you know, pull the plug in a, in a friendly and amicable way and say that was really exciting, uh, but let's not do any stuff in the future because you're not getting uh, the, uh, the kind of traffic or the interest. Because I guess you really want to be telling everybody right now in the UK that you deal in the UK. That's easy for me. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's one of our primary goals, and to get people to know about our stuff, and not only the UK, but, you know, all of the, all of the European Union, and I'm thinking about coming out there, I'd like to meet you finally, and I love your videos, your sense of humor, I don't know if, all, if every Brit is just naturally born, you know, sarcastic and funny, but... Um, <laughs> I think some of us work on it more than others. I think. From, uh, from us on, on this side of the pond, that's sort of how it feels. Um, but um, you know, I, I'd like to I'd like to do something with you, and I'm wondering whether it would be of any interest to you and your your viewers if if we have a continuing dialogue, because I know that you've you've been really helpful to me over the years talking about social media, and we heavily utilize it in my brand. I've got all the channels and. And I'm extraordinarily transparent, and I deal directly with customers. I utilize video quite a bit. And if we can sort of, as a part of this arrangement, if you will, you know, have a continuing dialogue where we, you know, transparently share how we view this arrangement, you know, between us working out and how other aspects of our social media campaign unrelated to to the UK, but just about how we're using Facebook, if this would be of any interest that, to that's, you. That sounds like a credible option because I don't have to hold one of those big boards and stand on the corner of a street, street with like Scotty vest on it or come feel my pockets. or So yeah, conversations I love. Uh, we could start with this. I hope you don't mind. I, I automatically record most of the stuff um, that I have and then I delete it once I've taken notes. I don't have the luxury of uh, uh, anybody to take notes for me, so, so I could share. Oh, that, I, I think I that would be that would be great, and you know, providing I, uh, you'd probably have to listen back to what you've just said because I don't know if you've said anything you think is sensitive. <laughs> um, I don't think so. <laughs> um, you know, but I think I think that's awesome, and you know what else? I, you know, I would even see it go further as we develop this ongoing dialogue. That you know, if one day you know we want to have a discussion about. You know our, our our politics and the you know and what's going on in a, a U.S. law that affects you know the internet or just you know you know the Olympics and you know just maybe even go beyond that. I I I just I, I love the interaction. I've been following you on Twitter you know since what seems like the beginning of time and um, time of Twitter and I think that would be fantastic. So yeah, that's I'm, fine. I'm up for that. That sounds that sounds. Uh a lot less, uh, you know, dangerous than I would have anticipated. A, a kind of a, I don't know, a corporate affiliation of sorts. Because as it stands, um, I've not necessarily connect, connected myself to that many brands that don't play, you know, a huge part in my local kind of life. So, but then when I think about what my wardrobe looks like right now, 
it seems like a natural progression. Well, what, what I want to do is... is oh, is does that mean I can get them some more clothes? As many am, as, many as you'd like. A if you like them, than normal. wear them. Shirts. I want to avoid sending you the clothes that you're not going to like and, and, and be honest about that. But um, no, absolutely. Look at our website and tell me what it is you'd like. And, you know, there was, you know, we can't talk about it too much, but there was an idea that you, you were the genesis of um, that is very close to coming out in production. And, uh, I, I, you know, because there are patents being filed and, you know, as we discussed, I, I don't want to talk about it too yeah. much now, but it is. It is awesome, uh, the, the most recent prototype. But I'll send you an email we'll, we'll, about some details. We'll just go back and forth and firm up some of the, the particulars. What about, if I, um, what about if I wanted to kind of um, um, spread the burden or share the love, whichever way you want to look at that? If there's a couple of key people in the UK that are always wearing tech clothing, if, if you know, they, you know, it might be one or two samples that... Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. If they're, you know, they're they're willing to give an honest review. I, I, I'm I'm pretty confident that an honest review will be positive. But you know, there's going to be some constructive criticism that I can learn from. I, I, I would welcome that. If these are people that you deem to be influential, and um, you know, I would encourage them to you know, if they're watching this, then you know, let, get in touch with you, or you get in touch with me directly and just tell me who to send. Obviously, we prefer to send the travel vest because that's what we're selling in the UK. But our full line is available, you know, in the US that we ship to the UK yeah. via USPS. So um, I think that's awesome. I'm really excited. Um, Thanks so much. No worries. No, thank you. Let, let, let's correspond uh, the, the details because you know um, via email and um, I, my Twitter handle. By the way, if you can let your your people know, it's Scotty Vest for the name of the company. But me personally is S E V is me, and uh, I do things really transparent. Sorry, your I don't even think I know your personal Twitter. It's just S E V. S E V is me. Oh, S E V is me. Oh, okay, cool. I was going to say, SEV, that sounds like expensive. You must have bought that. <laughs> <laughs> SEV is me. Okay, cool. I don't, I don't, I don't think I'd, I'd talk to you through that channel either, so I'll, I'll check that out. Um, I'm not as active there as I should be, but maybe you can advise me on how. Because what I've tried to do is, if you've been following me for a long enough time, I mean, it's, the messages got mixed between, you know, I'm walking my dogs and I tweet about it, you're following my company. You might not want to know about that, Yeah. you know. Probably don't. So we, we've recently segregated that. So, and um, this is awesome. I, I look forward to working together. Expect that email and uh, put your shopping list together and tell me who we should send stuff to. And and this eye gear thing, dude, pisses me off. So <laughs> thanks a lot, Scott. Take care. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye.